In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade or replace the battery on your Chinese uh, Android or Windows tablet. Now just a disclaimer, you have to do this at your own risk. Uh, I'm not responsible for any damage to your device uh, because this is a do-it-yourself do it fix. So just keep that in mind. Also I'm, in this video I'm going to show you exactly the steps on how to uh, replace the battery and uh, what's actually needed for it, the knowledge you need to know, especially when searching for the battery for replacement and so on. Uh, also don't do this on an expensive tablet. Now these are Chinese tablets, they're really cheap, they're always below $100. But since these Chinese tablets use generic batteries uh, and the like really bra good branded ones such as iPads, uh, Samsung Galaxies, Asus tablets, they use uh, specific uh, batteries for them, you should actually go and if, if you own one of those, you, you shouldn't be watching this video. You should be actually watching a video where they show you how to upgrade the battery on one of those because these Chinese batteries use generic batteries, not specific batteries. So do this only if you have a Chinese uh, tablet. Now also don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more other more videos like this. I'm a new I'm I'm actually new to YouTube, so just show me some support by liking this video and subscribing. And yeah, let's get into this uh, video. The first thing, then the most important thing you're gonna need uh, is obviously a ba new battery. So how are you gonna uh, search for a new battery? Obviously, you're gonna buy it from somewhere like eBay or Amazon. And here, here are a few uh, tips and actually important tips on how to search for the proper battery for your tablet. Now, the first thing you're gonna look forward for is the dimensions of the tablet, uh, the, the the original battery. So go ahead and open up your device and again open it up at your own risk. And now this is where things get subjective because this this fixes for all Chinese tablet but the tablet I have here is different from obviously what you have. Uh, so you have to look at a specific video on how to uh, dismantle your tablet and then come back to this video because uh, I cannot show obviously for every single tablet. So go and look. Uh, go and look up a video that shows that how, how to un uh, disassemble your specific tablet and then come back so this is the, the disassembling part is up to you now once you've done that you're going to measure the battery and the battery bay uh, dimensions that is the the height of the battery the width of the battery and the, uh, the thickness of the battery and the battery bay the height of the battery bay the thickness of the the width of the battery bay and the thickness of the battery bay my value is slightly wrong this should be actually 78 but you should measure it properly uh, now first you got to measure the battery the height the width and the thickness and do that with the battery bay also battery bay the uh, height width and thickness these are my dimensions that i measured from inside this a couple of months back and i went and bought this battery from ebay uh, just search uh, tablet lipo battery and it should come up and look you should really look careful uh, look carefully at these dimensions now on eBay listings you'll get the markings like this uh, for the battery size they look somewhat like this also in a different battery usually they look like this or like this so look forward to the markings now it will be uh, the first what would come will be the thickness my actually my measurements are the other way around first it, it goes in this way thickness first then the uh, width then the height so first you get the thickness 35 actually means not it's not 35 millimeters it's 3.5 millimeters and just the thing all, all of these are in millimeters so uh, get used to the millimeter scale uh, everything's in millimeters so uh, it's actually 3.5 they haven't put the point 3.5 millimeters by 75 uh, millimeters wide and 95 millimeters in height so that's the dimensions of this battery it's 3.5 millimeters thick 75 millimeters uh, wide and 95 millimeters tall uh, so that's something important look for the dimensions before you buy and the next thing you're going to look forward for is the voltage look for the proper voltage compare it with the original battery and you have to look for the surge protector on the battery that's also important the battery surge protector circuit look forward for that and you should obviously get a larger battery than what you originally had so uh, the battery bay dimensions will be very important so you can get a slightly larger uh, battery from larger than your original battery because the Chinese usually put smaller batteries than their battery bays 
and yeah so get a larger battery that fits within your battery base size not your battery size your battery base size get a larger battery that fits within that size and you'll be fine now let's go to the next part of this video okay so what what you're gonna need to uh, for this fix is basically a bunch of tools preferably plastic tools and you're gonna go ahead and open this like I said you have to look to another video for opening your specific tablet because it could vary from mine it obviously will vary from mine this is for all generic Chinese tablets so go ahead and un open up your device first and then uh, let's continue with the video so now once you've disassembled your device it's gonna look quite different from obviously what this is uh, now this is what my one looks like uh, the circuit board is up here the processors and all are under this uh, heat shield uh, the battery is over here speakers and so on quite a minimalistic device uh, hence for the price so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna search for the two positive and negative connectors of the battery they're usually around the top and bottom of the battery um, you're gonna search for them mine's over there so you can see the positive is marked and the negative is marked but on some maybe your uh, logic board maybe it's not marked so you should actually take a photo or something just to remember which is which because you can actually short out the circuit if you solder them the wrong way around so plus uh, plus is red uh, black is minus so just take a photo of that while you're at it um, and then what you're going to do next is you're going to desolder the battery so now be careful when you're desoldering because soldering irons are hot and you may burn yourself and the surrounding uh, circuit uh, there, there are very sensitive resistors and ICs and so on at the top as you can see they are very sensitive parts be careful not to burn them uh, you, you may lift off the heat shield there, sometimes you may not have a heat shield either just be careful when you so uh, desoldering these things so go ahead and desolder the two contacts and then let's continue with this video okay so now uh, I've desoldered the two wires as you can see there now what we are going to do next is um, lift the battery very slowly now be careful because there are a lot of uh, there's a lot of glue underneath the battery on your most tablet but my one has only glue on this part of it I noticed this part is not pasted actually but your one may vary like I said this is very subjective differs from tablet to tablet now all you're gonna, gonna need is now if you bought a set of tools like I said a plastic set of tools they are obviously gonna come with these guitar pick like things or you can just go get a guitar pick for a dollar from the music store and what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide slowly slide it underneath the battery and you're gonna work your way by literally cutting the glue like that so basically work your way underneath the battery like that obviously do that with both hands I'm holding the camera with one hand but put it under the battery and slowly work your way and cut off the glue and slowly lift the battery off so that's what you have to do next be careful because uh, like I said this is your LCD panel so you don't want to damage your LCD uh, it could be different in yours but take precaution when you're lifting the battery out okay so the battery is out now as you can see uh, they have actually glue on both sides but so for some reason the other side hadn't pasted so some batteries may be full of glue at the bottom so be careful take your time and slowly remove it uh, there'll be a bit of residue under this thing so if you don't have glue for your new battery most batteries don't come with glue also just keep the residue it'll help stick or you can just slowly scrape scrape it off this battery and paste it onto the new one um, so what you're going to do is you're going to do all these steps in reverse for the new battery uh, there'll be a covering on the new battery you should remove the uh, covering that separates the two connectors place your new battery in like that and solder the two co uh, connectors remember to solder them properly obviously you don't want to uh, get them the other way around uh, positive uh, red for positive uh, black for negative and then do all the steps in reverse and then you'll be fine I mean then then all you gotta do is you gotta char charge the battery uh, for about 10 hours straight it's a new battery so you gotta charge the battery for about 10 hours uh, uh, straight on the charger use your original charger also uh, or if you have a, like a really good charger uh, you should use that like from a really good device uh, use your original charger charge it for 10 hours straight and then you're ready to use it so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel like I said help me out a bit I'm new to YouTube and yeah so good luck with this fix and I hope to see you in my next video